we are having a look at the life of Gerald Otieno Kajuan. A man who was a candid, fearless and generous leader who fought for the expansion of democratic space in Kenya. A man who was a full supporter, subscriber and campaigner of Raila Odinga and his ideologies. The ODM party and its ideologies. Leo hito na tangaswa. Abu Abu akisema fire unapanya nini? Abu Abu akisema forward unapanya nini? Abu Abu akisema nyuma unapanya nini? We are going there. Because ODM is the most popular party in the Republic of Kenya. Pamure Wachino. DNA is a tribal grouping. URP is another tribal grouping. ODM is a national political party. <laughs> Loyalty. Faithfulness, fidelity to the party will be number one consideration. If we doubt you, if we think that you are going to bed with our opposition, we will not allow you to hold any office in this party. Utino Kajuang was born on July 15, 1959, to the late David Ajuang Nyakwamba, a celebrated teacher, and Dorcas Akumu Ajuang who is remembered as one of the first female African primary teachers of the 1940s. That means both parents were teachers. He was the firstborn of 12 children, three girls and nine boys. Three of his brothers are currently serving as politicians. They are the current Homer Bay Senator, Moses Kajuang, Ruaraka Member of Parliament, TJ Kajuang, and Kaptembo Award MCA, Peter Kajuang. Kaptembo Award is found in Nakuru County. Otieno Kajuang joined Waondo Primary in 1964 and sat for the Certificate of Primary Education, CPE, examinations in 1971. He later joined Mbita High School for all levels. And here, according to his former schoolmate, Ochieng Oreng, he had problems with the school's administration. This was after leading a strike, citing badly cooked food. He later became a member of the school choir and performed well in his O-level test, emerging as the best candidate. After successfully finishing his O-levels education, he joined Homer Bay High School for A-levels. At some point, he led a strike following a disagreement with the school librarian. As a result, he was expelled from this school. He later got a chance at Maseno School, where he completed his A-levels. In 1977, he joined University of Nairobi to study law. And in 1979, he was elected the Secretary General of the Nairobi University Students' Organization, that is NUSO. He was at the forefront, leading the demonstrations against President Daniel Arap Moi as the Secretary General. And this resulted in his expulsion from the university. He was expelled alongside Romba Kenothia and Mukita Kitui. He later joined Makaere University in Uganda, where he graduated with a degree in law. He came back to the country and joined the Kenya School of Law and graduated with a diploma in law, after which he was admitted to the bar as an advocate in 1984. In 1990, when practicing law, he led a riot by lawyers protesting the arrest of lawyers Mohammed Ibrahim and John Haminwa, who had represented politicians accused of plotting to overthrow the Moi government. The courts were closed for two days following those demonstrations. Utino Kajuang served as the legal advisor for the Forum for Restoration of Democratic Party, FORD, and the National Development Party, NDP. In the 1997 general elections, Kajuang was elected to represent Mbita constituency as their member of parliament. On an NDP ticket, 
making to the list as one of the then 21 MPs elected from that party. The then Nyanza province, presently Nyanza region, voted overwhelmingly for Dinga and his NDP party candidates in that election. Your Excellency, Kura Iko up. Only James Orengo, of Ugenya, and Joe Donde, of Game constituencies, were re-elected on a different party ticket in the whole of Luonyaza region. Soon after his win, Utieno Kajuang proposed a vote of no confidence against Vice President Saitoti over corruption in relation to the Golden Bug scandal. This was actually a political scandal in the 1990s, where the government of Kenya had subsidized exports of gold beyond standard arrangements. The government had paid 35% more in Kenya shillings than the country's foreign currency earnings for the deal. When the motion did not go far, Kajuang filed a private application before a magistrate seeking to have Saitoti prosecuted in relation to his alleged involvement in the Golden Bank issue. He obtained leave to institute criminal proceedings against the vice president. However, the then Attorney General Amos Wako invoked Section 26 of the then Constitution and terminated the case. Kajuang later unsuccessfully challenged Amos Wako's decision at the High Court of Kenya. And through this, questions emerged over Attorney General's powers over court cases. And this later formed part of the basis for the constitutional reforms, which saw a new constitution promulgated in 2010, with clear roles and powers laid down. Niseme hivi. Watu wengine wanafikiri hii katiba ni mchezo. Lakini hii katiba wengine walekufa. Na hii katiba wengine warmemed. Hii katiba wengine bled. Hii katiba wengine wa tortured. Hii katiba the way the Prime Minister says, is written on Kenyan people's blood. Don't joke with this katiba. When I was in Bomas, I spoke some three good English words. I told them that we want to devolve power. And we want to diffuse power. And we want to rearrange power. If you want to do those things that I've talked about, it is only O D N. Tena. Kendo. Utieno Kajuang employed his artistical skills and used Mapambanosom as a slogan at the beginning of the no campaigns against the proposed constitution during a rally in Makadara. This was somewhere around 2005. When he was later in 2008 asked about it, that is about the song, the Mapambano song, by Daily Nation during an interview, Kajuang answered, and I quote, In our efforts to stop the enactment of the proposed new constitution, we had to engage our opponents in the battlefield. I set out to harness public imagination and crystallize the campaign in a slogan. He explained that Mapambano song was a Christian-based gospel song about the struggle between the good and evil, and that he used to sing it when he was a member of choir back when he was growing up. The only time Kajuang served in the government was during the coalition government with Kibaki as the president, therefore head of state, and Raila Odinga as the prime minister, that is head of government. He was appointed minister for immigration. Let's understand this together. After the 2007 general elections, Kenya was mad with post-election violence. Then came in Kofi Annan and his team. To bring in unity, they decided to bring in the position of a prime minister. And so this government 
was divided into two. It was a coalition government. With Kibaki as the president, specifically being the head of state, and Raila Odinga as the prime minister, specifically being the head of government. So both sides made up the cabinet. And so one of the cabinet presented by the ODM party, which was then led by Raila Odinga, was Utino Kajuan. He was appointed the Minister of Immigration. Mimi Gerald Otieno Kajuang. This is a very rare opportunity. Uh, we are only 40 of us in the country and that is really great. So I'm happy to be here. Listen. Na wako na materials ya kutosha. Wako na picha ya kutosha. And I have asked them to register people in every location and in every secondary school. I'm talking to them even as I talk now. The next thing is that they have been given vehicles, they have been given allowances for fuel, and they should be moving from location to location. Now, if you were born in Nakuru, and your grandfather came from uh, Torokana. You will be registered in Nakuru. That is the law. That is the rule. And anybody who breaks that rule will be sacked. Unasukia iyo. Yamwisho. If you go to register... It is free. Nobody should ask you for a cent for a new registration. Ngoja. Lakini uki lose kitambulisi. Na unataka replacement. Bei ni shiling miatatu. Lakini hiyo shiling miatatu ni megundua ni pesa nyingi sana kwa reserve. Kwa hivyo natangasa sasa. And uh, I am backed by the Prime Minister. Kutoka Kesho, replacement, your lost ID is free. In May 2009, he publicly announced that senior civil servants, most of them appointed by the first Kibaki administration, that is before the coalition government, seemed unwilling to take orders from coalition partner appointees. He is quoted to have said, and will allow me quote, a good partnership can be crystallized in two words, consultation and concurrence. In this partnership, there is neither of those ingredients. The fact is that although the coalition is written into the constitution, PNU, the party of national unity, does not accept there is a partnership and their view is that this is their government. The same tenor that consultation means concurrence. Sema concurrence. Iyo ni kisungu kubwa, which means agreement. In 2013 general elections, the first general election actually conducted under the new constitution 2010, Utino Kajuang threw his interest in the senatorial seat which he won. And late November 2014, just about a year after winning the Homer Bay County, Senator seat. Kajuang succumbed to cardiac arrest at the age of 55 years. Before his sudden demise, by the way, the senator is reported to have spent most of the day in parliament. Earlier in the day, he accompanied a Senate committee on transport to assess the progress in the construction of the southern bypass in Kikuyu town, That's, that is in Kiambu County. He was greeted with jubilant choruses. The one and a half hour function was held out in the open along the bypass under the hot sun, where the senators, road contractors, residents and Kenha officials exchanged their thoughts about the construction of the bypass and why an entry road into Kikuyu town was necessary. He stood for one hour with other senators under the hot sun. <laughs> Kiambu 
hii tabu kidogo imekwisha piga makofi let us not use excuses of security to destroy economies of other counties what is happening in lamu is a destruction of the economy of lamu if this this curfew has anybody come here to explain to us why it should be extended why it was even necessary in the first place for so long sooner or later uh, we will get uh, somebody will order a curfew in the whole country or in the whole of nairobi how will we survive unlike many polished politicians who are hesitant to eat in the public either for fear of embarrassment or poisoning kajuang mingled and ate with the masses during public events once he attended he always ate Otieno Kajuang spent most of his political career in the opposition benches and in every occasion or situation he never missed a punchline. And our job as the opposition is to make your job as difficult as possible. And we will not let you sleep because you cannot sleep on the job. In fact, nimeangalia yeye analala kwa kazi. Ndio unasikia bomb bomb sayote bomb bomb kwa sababu saa nyingine unaweza patia unaweza patiwa jukumu kubwa mpaka ujui hata kasi yako ni gani Sasa sa dwale kama ni treason mimi nasema saa hii nikitoka hapa shika mimi Saba saba Na nataka usame saba 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 tukitoka hapa dwale shika mimi na hao wote. Moto naitwa Kimayo. Ati chief of police alisema saa sita ati tukikuja hapa ati hakuna siasa. Alifikiri tukifika hapa tutaseme nini? Ati Kimayo anasema tukikuja tononoka ati hakuna siasa. Ati siasa ni incitement. Anataka tukuje tonondoka tuseme nini? Ikibamba sana watu. Sasa nasema siasa moja. Kwa kimayo nasema hivi. Old dogs don't learn new tricks. Kama wewe ni polisi ya moi na ulefanyia kibaki na ukafika mpaka hapa an old dog aende nyumbani oh no ya mwisho ya mwisho raela uhuru aliweka kwa headline akasema ati raela enda pole pole cool down mimi ndio president <laughs> hey kwanza uhuru ajue we are not cooling down any soon in fact it might get hotter jikoni itakuwa hot uhuru kama if you don't want to cook get out of the kitchen ni sema ya mwisho na hii inasema kwa kiingereza ibc as presently constituted can not preside over a free and fair election it must be disbanded and be restructured in a dialogue of the people of Kenya na ukikata tutakutana na tutakanyagana wapwani oriti uru oriti uru that is the story of Gerald Ochino Kajuan i know you still need more insights right allow me end there for today we promise to bring more soon my name is quatch and this is the saknawa productions to speak in english ndio hawa wasikie mimi vizuri you know we cannot allow we as the sovereign people of kenya cannot allow ourselves to be ruled by two fugitives hiyo ni kesungu kubwa Hiyo ni kisomo kubwa ya kusei
gentlemen who are running away from the law. Why did you appoint him to be your running mate? He is tied to your neck until the end of the term. In fact, it is easier to divorce a wife than to divorce a deputy governor. Karibu! Rais! Karibu! Rais! Mapambano bado naendelea. Mapambano wanafanya nini? Niseme hivi kwa nakuru. Nataka kusema kiengereza kubwa kubwa leo. Nakuru is the hotbed of Kenyan nationalism. Kwa sababu Nakuru is the hotbed of Kenyan politics. And I know that if Nakuru says yes, it is yes. If Nakuru says ODM, it is? Nasa tutalemiane, ODM. Sema, just say ODM. Tena? 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 Let me tell you, I love this movement. Kutoka turukana mpaka uko loitokito. Kutoka vanga mpaka uko nyatike uotorumo. That is O-D-M. Tena? Tena? Kendo? Basi. Nikisema okoa, minasema Kenya. Okoa! Okoa! Tumekuja hapa leo kuokoa Kenya. Kwa sababu, I want to tell you a few things in English. Na asikia vizuri. Mr. President, there are many, too many murders in Kenya. Mr. President, there are too many executions in Kenya. And Mr. President, there are too many muggings in Kenya. In fact, Mr. President, there are too many massacres in Kenya. I'm telling you, we will not tolerate this for too long. Because you declared yourself president to protect us, instead of protecting us, at a police yako in a kufa for four four. You can tab. Unajua these days, killing policemen in three, in twenty one, in forty something is just routine in Kenya. Iyo ni njigani unawa police tatu, 21, 43, na inapeta tu. Ati wewe ni president na polisi yako inakofa tu, 444. Unajua Kenya is almost becoming the most unsecure country in the world. And we cannot have it this way. Wewe kama unalala kwa kasi yako toka raila chukwe uwane vile tulajerosa hii. Atuweze kuwa na mbao mbao mkila kwa hali. Ati ukeena pande hii mbao. Ukeena pande hii mbao. Ukeena pande hii. Ukeena pande hii. Ae wezikani. Let me tell him in English again. These are the characteristics of a failed state. There is no business going to Somalia to bring peace in Somalia when your own Ascaris are dying at home. Alafu, there is another culture in Kenya hapa. Elianza na Moi, kibaki alipoesha kidogo na imerudi. Hawa watu wakienda, wakiona shamba la serikali, hata ya mutu. Si unajua hata mmoja hameenda kotini na hamefungu wa huko, kwa sababu ya shamba la mutu. Na bado anasema ye ni huko juu. Ya unajua ye? Ye. Ye, hata juusu jinalake hiko tena. Ongoro. We ndi ulesema jinalake. Oh, karibu na hii. Wanataka kusikia mimi ngambo, wata nikuje karibu.
Let me tell you. Wakiona shamba pande hii, pande hii, pande hii lazima usikie jina lao. I'm telling you please what is in the land that makes you look so bad. Huko Eldoret umesheka shamba la mtu umepelekwa kotini umepigwa fine. Na wewe ni president na umepigwa fine. Kwanza si si fine ukipigwa inasema kama ukosa kulipa unaingia ndani. E, na lilipa. Hiyo <laughs> ni jela. Hii mambo ya shamba italeta vita kenya hii. And they are saying that because Ochok was helping a few Kenyans to build some houses here in Nairobi at your chok must die. Let me tell them. If you get somewhere to build a house, build a rakasan. In Nairobi ni yetu na hatu toki. Let me tell you. Since I was born, I've lived more years in Nairobi than I've lived at home. So Nairobi ndiyo nyumbani. Mimi sitoki hapa. Na ukipata pahali kaka pesa na matako. You know when we went to Bomas, we went for only one thing. There was too much concentration of powers in the hands of one man. Na tulienda huko tukasoma kiangereza kubwa kubwa. Sasa nikisoma mmoja kubwa unasema pao. We went there to devolve, to decongest, to diffuse, to disperse, to decentralize, to rearrange.